Filthy Crafter here. Today I have a kid up in chat instead of doing a whip in chat. The reason being is I finished Wishes um, officially yesterday on the 31st of July. Um, so, and I actually did a time lapse video of, of her face if you want to check it out later on. Um, but yeah, so this is what I'm working on, is my next project. It's bakery. It's about 51 centimeters by 41 centimeters, and the artist is uh, Bailey J. And I was like really wanting to work on it for a while, but I had to tell myself not until I finished my other two projects. So we're gonna get started. Sorry about the plastic crinkling. There we go. I hope everyone's doing okay today. Get all this started. I already had to put number 19 on a, the container because it would not stay seated on this. So that might be why if you see there's a number missing, that's why. <laughs> so first things first, I'm going just to start cutting all of this together and getting it all organized into its to their containers. Uh, let's see. So, I hope everyone's doing all right. Um, it's still been kind of busy here uh, for us. And still trying to prep all the schoolwork. Um, prep to get these kids back to, back to school because they're officially going in two weeks. And the kids are excited. I'm excited. Um, but also worry at the same time. Uh, right now, it's just a lot more of a trying to make sure that things are situated for them. Like, I know that they're mostly done with their summer homework. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, I got most of their stuff for, for school. It's just that right now, I'm in the process of making their masks. So, I've been doing a lot less of everything that I really want to do. And I'm... This week is going to be basically my prep week of working on their mask and um, um, essentially pick, picking up all their uh, clothes and making sure that it's all ready for the school year. Hold on for a moment. Kid interruption. Uh, that's always kind of the case nowadays, isn't it? <laughs> Especially when I'm talking about them, they seem to have like a sense of that I'm... I'm, I'm talking about them and they need to interrupt or interject about something. But oh, you might be wondering why I'm wearing this. Is uh, I've been <laughs> I've been taking it way too hard uh, with with diamond painting and it's causing um, a carpal tunnel and also like um, my thumb. So all the way down here I'm weak and it's kind of hard to pick up a lot more heavier items. So I've been putting a brace on to keep it steady for the most part and it's it's a uh, it's kind of frustrating um, I have to like take this part off whenever I want a diamond paint because if I don't it'll hold my thumb in place this way I can at least do this but for the most part I'm doing this because I can't because um, I can't do that and it's frustrating because I also have to do that when I'm playing my um, video games uh, when I'm on my, my mouse, I have buttons on the side, so I have to click those, and I can't if I have uh, this little strap um, pairing my way. <sighs> Let's see. Um, yeah, right here. So, yeah, we're in the last bits of summer, and the kids, the kids are really excited. Uh, we had uh, had them have uh, a sleepover with Nana yesterday, well, the night before, which is why I pushed really hard to get the rest of this done because I wanted to have the time to do it before they came back and I wouldn't have the time to finish because I was really determined to get wishes done by the by the 31st which I did which I'm happy about like I said uh, let's see and it is hard to do that when I'm cutting at the same time Maybe I should do a time lapse. What do you think? <laughs> uh, perhaps not. So, anyway, uh, yeah. So, uh, let's see. we had kids sleep over at Nana's, and um, when I when I got there, 
she did something very sweet. Sorry about all the crinkling. She did really something sweet. Uh, what she did was she bought swimsuits for the kids. And I know it's like the last bits of summer, but she was, uh, I think she was just surprised I didn't have any for the kids. Um, mostly because I don't really see the need for them right now. Um, they barely wear them as it is, and they grow so quickly. It's just, um, for me, it's just like, what's the use? We're staying at home, just run through the sprinklers kind of thing. But it was still very sweet of her to do that. And she also showed me like some clothes that she got the kids. Um, she got my youngest a Princess Peach shirt, which she is now clamoring me to wash and she wants me to, uh, she wants to wear it tomorrow. So I told her we'll see, but she, <laughs> she is not, she's determined to wear it tomorrow. Um, and then like my son got his dinosaurs and his, um, space stuff. So, and then my oldest, um, she, she and her Nana, um, along with her, her dad, uh, they all shared a love of peanuts, like Snoopy and stuff like that. I'm not the biggest fan, to be honest, but, you know, I don't, you know, they, it's, it's their thing, and I'm, I'm glad that they have a thing all together, so. And then she also got a tie-dye shirt, like, so, like, a rainbow swirly tie-dye shirt, and she's, she's ecstatic. I gotta wash them tonight. Uh, probably have to have my husband um, open the the laundry detergent so because I'm not able to do it. <laughs> uh, so uh, if you don't know, this is a square shape. Uh, this is a square diamond painting, um, and I'm kind of worried because Rainbow Little Dragons was um, deaf on my hand, and then I didn't make it better when I went. To wishes, but wishes was round, so it kind of made it a little better. But like I said, um, I, I like squares. I like the look of them. It's just, oh my goodness, I get too finicky with them. <laughs> so um, one of the things I had to do um, last week was order some stuff through Amazon. Yeah, I'm I'm skipping around. So. Uh, Let's see. What we had to do was I ordered um, some shoes for the kids because school, and then I also had to order a phone mount for my stand here. And what had happened was it was being delayed by a lot. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, the phone mount. So I ordered the phone mount, and then this. Um, brace thing and then a new pin to because my old one kind of broke and chipped um, and I couldn't really the at the time I thought I, we weren't able to get um, anything from Etsy or anything because I wanted to try one of their one of the pins from there but um, I I didn't think we had them had the uh, um, affordability for that let's see we're gonna start in this little group. I tried to separate it all into little sections here. All right, yeah, so we're gonna start in this little group. Okay. So, um, yeah, so I ordered the foam mount and everything and they said that it was supposed to arrive on Tuesday. And I waited all day. I even waited during raid. I was like checking it the whole time and they kept prolonging it. They kept changing the time and Finally, it goes, okay, it's not coming here, and it's, it was like, it was past 10, 10 p.m., and then it says, your package is still on its way, and then I think 12 o'clock, it's then said, oh, we're sorry we missed you, um, uh, we'll be delivering either Wednesday or Thursday, I'm like, Ugh, great, I had a feeling, but still, they came on Wednesday, and I, I got almost everything except the phone mount. They gave me a door latch for the phone mount. I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> Had to get a replacement. And the funny thing was the replacement came the next day. And I'm just, are, are you serious at this point? Um, oh, I did find out. I don't know if you remember. Um, so at the time, I thought there was two ABs in this kit. No, there were just one. 
it's just it's just a one. So uh, I could have sworn it they were because of this number one fifty. I could have sworn that it was two. Nah, um, it's just this one right here. So yeah, it, back to Amazon story. Uh, so, so what had happened was um, I had I had to get a replacement and it came quickly compared to this one, um, compared to the uh, door latch one. And then I also had the kids' shoes that were supposed to come the same day. Yes, they came the same day. Um, and I ordered rainbow shoes for my daughter, my oldest daughter. She wanted rainbow shoes. And uh, the other kids' shoes came in. They were perfectly fine. All of them were light up except my oldest. Um, they get, instead gave me black shoes with uh, a teal lining. Luckily, my daughter loves it. But at the same time, that's not what I ordered. So I went to check. And um, the picture shows the tie-dye rainbow shoes with butterfly clips and all that. But then when you hover over it, this, the word says black. I'm like, that's that's not tie-dye. Um, fortunately, it's not as... It, it, the price was wasn't too awful it was it was cheaper than what a light up shoes would be but I, I told her we'll get her light up shoes in the next month or so I have a feeling she's going to grow anyway <laughs> so yeah she'll probably get some new shoes in, in a month or so okay and then let's see uh yeah um I'm also started waking up earlier. This this week is the week of waking up and getting prepped for school. So uh, our school starts. Uh, I shouldn't shouldn't tell you, but anyway, what we have to do is we have to wake up by six o'clock in the morning. And I'm so used to sleeping in now. I've been loving sleeping in, but. We're now practicing waking up earlier. Tom uh, starting tomorrow, we're waking up at 8 o'clock all this week. Next week, we're going to start waking up at 7 o'clock. Uh, I don't want to do it. Oh, I missed some, missed some uh, drills. Come on out. The static on these. Come on. All right. Color was it? Uh, yes, this one. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, I am now. Oh yes, this color. Three ten. We gotta find three ten. Okay. Uh, let's see. So we had to do all the, yeah, I, I think I went through most of the school stuff. So with my gaming, I've been kind of on and off with it. Um, oh, that's not a lot of 310s. Okay, I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> so um, I'm still playing WoW. Uh, in fact, I was like I said, I was raiding. Um, we did a lot better this week. We went through we went through the first I want to say five bosses. Yeah, five? No, six bosses. Yes, we went through the first six bosses, um, and then got stuck on the guardians of the first ones. And what had happened was uh, it was just I I don't think it was a healing issue. Uh, but it was just trying to make sure that no, well, no, it wasn't healing us. She was just making sure everyone wasn't being stupid and getting in at, at the correct time. Um, and then what had, uh, then we went on Thursday, we actually went back and we killed it. I, no, I, wait, did we kill it on? No, we actually did kill it on, on Tuesday. So, we killed it on Tuesday. And we decided to save the last... The uh, next boss for... 
Fate Scribe, I think. Yeah, Fate Scribe. Um, and we had, we we spent almost all night on Fate Scribe. It it was a mess. It's just um, okay. So <laughs> I'm sorry if you guys don't like like video games, but but I do. So um, what we had to do. So with Fate Scribe Rune uh Rune Call Hollow, you in normal it's easy. So um, there's a point in his fight is when. You have to get the runes to to like match the runes, um, and depending on how far away the runes are, you either go clockwise or counterclockwise. With um, if you have to go counterclockwise, you have to have someone come help you, and it's the same like that in heroic difficulties too. But what had happened is uh, you get something called runic affinity. So when you have runic affinity. You're the one that's allowed to do it. No one else can. Um, so you have to call on others who also have runic affinity. And it was just, um, it's, a, it's a lag. It's like making sure that your latency and the other person's latency, if you're trying to help each other bring this rune to the other side, because it's just a circle, it's, it's a mess. <laughs> and it was, it was a total pain, but we finally killed it right at the end, like 20 minutes before the end of raid. And we kind of discussed what we wanted to do after that. If we wanted just to kill more and try and get, like, um, if we wanted to try and get a purple uh, drop from the trash. But our guild leader was just like, no, I I'm done. I'm tired. Which, I can't blame her. I was exhausted too. I wanted, I wanted to go to sleep. <laughs> Uh, gotta write down this one. Which one was it? 550. Yeah. Where's my pen? You'd think I would be a bit more prepared. And I can't write very well with my with my hand like this. So, uh, so yeah, we, we, I did very well with the raid. I also got a helmet off the, off that boss too. I think it's, I think it's one of my best in slot ones. It has a, uh, domination socket on it. Uh, so I got I still haven't equipped it. I, I should have probably done it, but I, what had happened was I logged out and I haven't logged back in because, um, while and me aren't still vibing very well, <laughs> I, I have to go back on by today or tomorrow to do my Mythic. Uh, we didn't do our Mythic Wednesdays, uh, my group and I. Instead, we decided to go and play Final Fantasy, and that was that was interesting, to say the least. My husband's happy about it because he, he loves Final Fantasy. He used to be all about WoW back in the day, but he's been playing... Playing uh, Final Fantasy for uh, um, a year, two years, I want to say, maybe? I could be wrong. And he's been begging me to play. So, but uh, one of my guildies, he plays Final Fantasy regular, regularly, and he begged us to, well, I wouldn't say beg, needled us? Yeah, needled. Um, and to, uh, everyone's surprised in our little Mythic Plus group, our, the guild leader, she actually said, okay, and was basically, what do I do, what do, you know, how to do this, and we were all set to go. Um, the healer of our group, he didn't, he didn't get prepped or prepared, um, until after work, because, you know, work, you gotta have an obligation to that, surprisingly enough. Uh, but since she and I were were staying at home, we we got ourselves ready to go. I already had a character on my husband's server, but um, but the guildy that we talked to, um, he was on a different server, so I had to bring make a whole brand new character, and it was just it was frustrating because it took an hour and a half for me to even get on that server to make make one because. Um, it was constantly like, um, you can't make new characters on the server yet, kind of thing. And I was just refreshing it. 
for an hour and a half to finally make one. But I started playing. I let's see, what's the dragon? What are the dragons called? The first thing I, I went was in a place called Limza Lomensa. My husband's probably going to hate how I butcher a lot of this stuff. But um, the I first went with the dragon called Aura, I think. And I was enjoying playing that. I was doing doing that for a bit. And then a few days later, I went back on and started playing on a different character. I decided to make a new one, which was a cat girl, which I'm pretty sure going to annoy people. Uh, but I think it's like Mikoti, they're called. Oh, yeah, we can fill that up to the brim. It's fine. Let's just... I'm not going to try and put in, put the last bits in another container. It'll be fine. <laughs> Famous last words, right? Oh, I don't even know if I was putting this into frame. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, it's, it was pretty much in frame. I, I'll find out in editing. Uh, so, but my husband and I leveled a pair together. Uh, God, a lot of these words are, are new for me, so I'm, I apologize. But I think it's called a pugilist. I want to say pugilist, but I know that's not the right way. Pugilist. Yeah. It's probably that. So, yeah. I started playing that. Excuse me, I made a mess over here. <sighs> but, uh, let's see. Um, and I, I've enjoyed, I'm enjoying it so far. Uh, my husband had, 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 did I say, yeah. My husband made a character on that, that server too. And we've been leveling together. He's eventually going to switch over to a different class. He, he, he cho chose the same class as I did. So that way we could be like together. But he wants me to start experiencing dungeons and so we can get into Q's faster. He's going to get into the healer class. I'm liking the storyline so far. Everyone goes on and on about how it's slow. But I don't feel like it's that slow, to be honest. I did get one thing <laughs> right over my husband. So there was a point in the quest where you're supposed to find these little... Lollafels. Anyway, I, I remember watching him on some of the stuff before, and this one Lollafell we're supposed to find, I'm like, is she the Sultana, which is uh, something from one of the factions, like the leaders? I, I'm, I'm not very good at explaining this. It, but anyway, my husband's like, no, this is just some high up important Lollafell thing. And a Lollafell's like this short little tiny gnome-like creature. Like I said, probably butchering it. <laughs> My husband calls them potatoes. Uh, but I'm like, she looks like the Sultana. And he's like, no, 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 that's not her. That's not her. That's not her. We finished the storyline today. We actually played a little bit um, um, together this morning. And got to the end of the Olda area before we're supposed to move on to the other faction areas. And here comes the Sultana and she, I'm like, that's her! And he still was adamant that it wasn't her until she said something about meeting me or, well, him. And he's like, oh, you're right! That's the only time I'm going to be right in this game. Because he's, he's played this game so, so much but it was just it was kind of funny that I was able to do that <laughs> has anyone done that with their own significant other <laughs> and if you didn't hear he probably he, he made a little snicker in the background he's uh playing right now I don't know what game he is and he's on I'm not even looking but yeah I, we, we started uh we started doing that. We played a couple of days. Uh, let's see. And I think we've ended off. I got to level 19 on the Pugilus thing. Yeah, I'm really good at names, aren't I? Uh, but I remember that 
um, on the dragon character I was on that she was playing something that looked like a Pokemon, had a Pokemon-like feature. <laughs> I know, I know. Um, but I'm like, oh, I want that because it looks like a little Eevee kind of thing. And I'm obsessed with Eevees. And I'm, I'm told it's a carbuncle, I guess. No, I don't care. But anyway, I was like, I kind of like that, which surprised him because I'm not a range class. I'm very much um, melee. Hence, you know, like with my name, the Stealthy Crafter, it's because I play a rogue. I've always played a rogue. And I might, I might not um, in this game. I don't know. Questions? Let's see. Am I, this is the right number? Eight, yeah, eight ninety two. So I might change my mind. So uh, yeah, I think we got to nineteen, and we just hit Linza Lamenza, which my husband told me that I could go for a rogue in there if I wanted to. I don't know, maybe. Um, if it's, uh, I didn't like how the how the. Uh, Pugilist place I was going so far. It's supposed to get better, but I was not enjoying how how everything was how everything felt. It felt very sluggish, but that's the point until you level higher, I guess. I don't know. What number is that? 892? Okay. I should have probably wrote that before I put this on to the to the container. All right, there we go. But overall, I, I am enjoying how everything is going in the game. Uh, like, I don't think it's that sluggish. I could be wrong because, I mean, I've only played such a small part of the whole thing and it's brand new and it just feels, I, I don't know, it kind of gives me some of this World of Warcraft vibes that I had when I started playing with my husband at um, back in the Burning Crusade era, and it kind of gives me the warm fuzzies because I kind <laughs> I kind of remember when he and I were working hard to hit level seventy, and I think he still has a screenshot of of it of us when we hit seventy together. I think I was still slightly behind him on on the level. But uh, he had he had another character that he was playing, and I just kind of watched him. We had one computer for the longest time, and we went to a place called Game Frog, and bought Game Time, uh, Play Time, not not uh, subscription time. We had to pay that separately. But we had to go to a place called Game Frog, so that way I I could play on the computer, and we would play together. And that's how I first experienced WoW. I knew about WoW in the past. What is with all these little black specks that are coming out of nowhere? Like every time I cut the bag, I keep finding black specks. It's annoying. Um, but yeah, I knew about WoW before because my dad played WoW and was constantly bombarding me to play. And I refused because at the time I was in high school, was trying to do, trying to make good grades, didn't want to lose focus. But my husband, he was all like, ah, see, I am making a mess. But my husband, at the time when he was, he and I were just dating, he was like, try it for a week. If you don't like it, it's fine. And um, at that time, I wasn't like officially playing, but I was playing um, Final Fantasy XI. Kind of funny now that he's all with Final Fantasy and I went with well <laughs> at the moment. Uh, but yeah. So I tried it. I gave it a week. I enjoyed it. At the time I was a night elf before I became, now I'm, I'm a void elf in the game. But at the time I chose night elf because I was like, ooh, they're pretty. I didn't want to be a human. I didn't want to be a dwarf <laughs> or a gnome. And... Since it was Burning Crusade, they had Drawn Eye, but you couldn't be a rogue with Drawn Eye. Still can't. Which, I can't. My husband and I have a argument about this all the time. He says because they have hooves, and 
you hear, hear them a mile away, but there's all kinds of different rogues. There's not always sneaky rogues. You have like right now with Outlaw, that's not a sneaky rogue. You, you're you basically a pirate. So why can't there be like that? And who knows? I mean, like if you train hard enough, you can make your hooves quiet. There are satyrs out there that are rogues, for goodness sake. I'm, I'm on a tangent. I'm sorry. But yeah, a, a final, uh, playing Final Fantasy together kind of, kind of gave, gave me those same vibes that I had, those same feelings when I was playing WoW with him when, you know, when we just started. And now, I mean, like, I don't know if he still feels it because this is not brand new to him anymore. It's, it's all old news, so... But it gives me the little warm fuzzies. <laughs> I am almost done, I think. No, I am not almost done. I still have quite a bit to go. You know, I think I'm done with the thing and it's like, nah, there's, there's another pile hiding right underneath. Yeah, that just happened. I'm going to get myself a sip of water. Hold on a minute. Uh, let's see, what's the next? Ah, 937. So yeah, let's see. I don't know if there was anything new in the with Final Fantasy that I finished up with, but I'm kind of excited. Uh, I think next part is like after we're after we're like supposed to be like an envoy kind of thing. Uh, since we just stopped at Limsa, uh, I think our next stop is Gradania? Question mark. But at this point, he and I are probably going to choose different classes. So we'll we'll see what's going on. Uh oh, looks like a, another big bag. Hopefully can, I can only keep it on one <laughs> little container here. It's probably not good that I try and stuff it to the brim if I can. I think this is going to be a two. No, no, I can, I can do it. I can do it. Sorry. Anybody anxiety going up watching this? <laughs> Especially with the mess I'm making. Alright. I'm determined to try and get things to fit in the spot. If I don't want to put more containers out. <laughs> uh, let's see. I haven't gone to the library this week. Um, we were... Normally we go like during the weekends, beginning of the week kind of thing. But with the kids sleepover, which um, was on a Friday... Uh, normally, uh, if we do sleepovers with Nana and Papa, um, it's it's more on a Saturday. They were hyped up on sugar when they came back. Um, they had an ice cream cake. And Nicole was telling me the size of it. And I was like, uh, oh my goodness, no wonder you guys are so hopped up. <laughs> um, and when, they, uh, after I was... Few, I want to say an hour or so after they got home, we fed them lunch. They they were sewn out. They're like it was like they had the sugar high and then they had the sugar low. <laughs> now we gotta start going through all these three thousand colors. Okay, I have a nice little mess. I was starting to throw it into the trash bag, but that's a bit too far, so it's just going into a section over here. <laughs> And I made another mess. I should probably get like a funnel or something. That should be next on my list. Um, speaking of list, so you know how I was on a no buy. I'm on a no buy again, and and by again meant means I I did buy stuff when I was supposed to be on my no buy. Um, so I got some stuff from Paddywax. 
um, that's coming in soon. And I also bought some trays from Bella Art to Nicole. And I that wasn't technically, like, I, I was already said no buy on that. But, so my husband was really nice and kind. Yesterday was the second anniversary of Hollow Taco, my favorite nail polish. In fact, them got their nail polish on right now. Um, they released their, their second anniversary collection. And uh, he bought me the collection. And it's it, it's it's huge. It's, it's still five nail polishes, but it comes with like a bonus nail polish. And essentially what it is, is they mixed all the colors of their previous thing, previous nail polishes together to form... Um, new colors which is all purple shades and I'm I'm I love it and it was expensive that he when he bought me the collection but I'm I'm happy <laughs> and then after that um Diamond Art Club sends their email saying uh if you're if you're like a diamond member or a sapphire member I think like I know diamond members at least um they get get an email or something like saying, hey, you know, time for you to, you know, if you want your early release kind of thing. And I'm just, I'm looking at Josephine Wall's Aquarius. Um, I'm, a, I'm an Aquarius. I don't believe in, I don't believe in zodiacs or horoscopes or anything, but I do like Aquarius type artworks and stuff like that, especially when they're purple. I am very much a purple type person. <laughs> and I'm sitting there looking at this piece and I'm just <sighs> along with Moon Elf because, you know, I, I'm, I'm obsessed with that one too. And my husband looks at me. And I, I wasn't going to beg him for that because he's already done so much. He's, he was so sweet with everything else. And he looks at me, he goes, let me look at the bank account. And he checks it and everything. And he goes, okay, you can do this. So I, I was able to buy Moon Elf and Aquarius. And I'm excited. Um, I'm thinking I'm definitely going to save Aquarius for around my birthday. As a little birthday gift to me kind of thing. Like, I get to do that and then hang it up somewhere. Ooh, we got... Two bags of three thirty-seven oh six. We'll just put that one over there. Think I can fit this in in one container? I hope so. Let's see. I don't think I want to be able to fit this one though. It would help if I would open the lid. So I am, like I said, I am now back officially on a no buy. Uh, nope, I am not going to be able to fit it all in one container. Darn. Alright, where's my... My pen is... My pen is underneath all the pile of rubbish. Oh boy. Here we go. Normally when I'm doing these things, um, like, I don't, I think only did one video of a kit up before I, um, I did like a time lapse kind of thing. But normally what I do, I would have like some, I would be watching, uh, some, a lot of YouTube videos or I'm watching Twitch content. So it's kind of strange that I'm doing this without doing all of that. But I don't. I didn't think I would have time to actually do a whip and chat uh, while I'm trying to get kidding. While I'm trying to kid up all of this. Let's see what is the next number? Thirty-seven, thirty-one. Oh, it's a tiny bag. I like all of these colors, to be honest. I think that's why. I went gravitated to it not just because it's purple um bailey j is one of my favorite artists on youtube in fact i gotta watch one of the videos that she just posted last week i think it was like a few days ago i'm i've been trying to play catch up so bad on youtube um with 
all the stuff that's been going on with the uh, school and and uh, with WoW and then Final Fantasy, I've been just slacking. Uh, 3733. Uh-huh, I think, okay, so the, some of the black fuzz is coming from this stuff from the uh, container. Then how is it all on, how is it getting on the bags? Mysteries that we'll never find out. Or we will. Uh, where was I? I do not remember. Um, well, I'll just go into a different subject. Since we're only, like, have a few, few, uh, few colors here. Yeah, we got five left, so yeah, I'll just go into sm small subject thing. No, I was talking, no, I wasn't talking about that. <laughs> I'm honestly, uh oh. Why do I make a mess? Why do I make a mess? Why do I make a mess? Oh, I was talking about the painting here. That's what I was talking about. At least the mess helped me remember what I was, what I was uh, conversing. Okay, so yeah, I really do like this painting. Like I said, I um, let's see, uh, yeah. I talked about how Bailey J is my favorite artist and how I'm so behind on YouTube videos. Yeah. See, I my brain goes everywhere, everywhere and I can't focus sometimes. Uh, let's see. But yeah, um, I really like the bakery items. I kind of want to have this downstairs, but I don't know if I if it would fit with the rest of the house uh, with the color scheme. It might. There's enough orange colors in here that it can. We'll see. But, um, I'm, I'm really sad that I'm not able to do any more, more stuff that I wanted. I wanted to get a new pen, so I wanted to get a new diamond pen, but, um, I'm not able to do that, and I'm not going to bother my husband for, for that because he's done so much already with all the stuff. Um, but I figured what I can do is probably ask him by September or so if uh, I can get one. Because I stay home and he he does all the work for the household. So it's, you know, this is my little fun thing. And I want him to get some fun stuff too. So, But yeah, I'm hoping to get like a pen maybe in the future. Um, I, I like these pens I did get, but they're from Amazon, and I really wanted to try uh, some one of those wood turning pens. Because I want to see how they feel, especially if they're like kind of on the heavier end. I don't think I like the chunky ones. Um, and I don't like the really slim ones. I like the, the uh, I like the size that I have. I could go a little bit on the bigger end on that, but... I don't, I don't know. Ooh, we're almost done. What colors left? 3854. Oh boy, I think this is going to need a second one. Hold on, I'm going to actually get, I'm actually going to go with the other color first. And then write down this color. Because I have a feeling we're going to, if the other one was a thinner bag, I have a feeling we're going to need this. So, 38, 5, 4. There we go. And then, let's see. stuff has happened in, with during this week um I'm just been plenty busy I got I got laundry that I gotta do after we're done with this I won't be able to start this today I don't think we'll see but yeah I, I think that I'll probably be starting this tomorrow I'm hoping that I'll get the 
two paintings I did order off a different company soon, but they still haven't shipped and it's been 10 days. Um, but it did say that it could take like up to eight weeks to deliver, so we'll see. Yeah, I was right. I needed to. I filled that one to the brim. So, yeah. I don't know if uh, that one's going to come anytime soon. I hope it will because um, one of the paintings there is for the Chills and Drills event that's coming in September. And I was hoping that it would be here before, before September. But there's still plenty of time. I hope. <laughs> if not, I still can work on Warm Witch while I'm waiting on it, but I was really wanting to work on that one. And I wanted to do an unboxing on that, but um, we'll have to see if it shows up. Uh, but yeah, I look looks like I was right. I needed two of these. I'm really excited to work on this one, though. I think I'm really excited in general about diamond painting. <laughs> um, so I hope that I will be able to do a post review on Wishes in Rainbow Little Dragons. It looks like I'm going to need to get some uh, scotch tape or something to tape these tags down. They, these little, yeah, they're all sticking up. They don't want to stay down. Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!